Both players swing look very similar in external appearance. However, they are actually very different. When the fold swing starts, TM moves his right up arm and forearm intensely to swing the racket. However, Djokovic's right up arm is fixed at his trunk and stays fixed during the swing. This means that Djokovic doesn't use his right arm artificially at the beginning of forward swing. Do you think it is possible to move the racket hold it in right hand without using dominant right arm movement? Well, of course, there is a way. It is to use the rotation axis. When you make the spine axis and rotate around it, this can be possible. Around the axis, movement of the left arm can be accompanied movement of the right arm. Djokovic and Federer have proved this. In the other hand, all pros players except the two use hip turn around the leg axis to swing. TM's of one moves downward and forward with hip turn at the beginning of forward swing. I want to present to you Chinook pose. This force allows the right-handed faithful to swing the racket without using dominant right arm movement. This is the chin force. This posture helps to swing with your body, not with your arm. Here is how to do chin force. First, open force of your chest widely. Pull back hardly. Second, pull back both of your upper arm. Third, pull back both of your forearm. Lastly, racket must be just hung in the hand. Don't use your right hand. This posture helps to swing with your body, not with your arm. Because it is impossible to swing by arm in this posture, swing will be made only by the body rotation. Thus, you must use your body to hit the ball. This posture will make your spine a rotation axis. You can use centripetal force in your scene.